All right, this is our 24 inch Okamoto model PRG6 horizontal spindle rotary surface grinder. All right, do a walk around here. I'll point out some of the highlights maybe. We'll come back for the control. Uh, coming through here, you got the main, of course, yeah, that's all. It's in the chuck, wheel assembly. Down low is the feed box and the travel dogs. When we come back around, we're going to show you a little bit of that and play with that. Uh, man, for all down here, we got a manual loop pump over here. The main control, it's been converted over to a walker. They put a nice walker chuck control on here. That's why these are kind of blanked off right now. We're just using this. It all works fine. New neutrifier. And this is all standard Okamoto up here for the feed. And the MC, the AC tech for the spindle drive, too. Uh, has been changed out a little bit. So it used to be just starting right off of here. Now it starts off the AC text. They did a little bit of work on it, some upgrades. And uh, again, this is the, the main, this is the variable speed motor for the table. That's about it all that's on this side if you want to kind of, kind of take a look at that. And uh, there's really not much else here other than the, where the cooling system would go and that's the trough, so. Back over here, got the main hydraulic pump with the downfeed wheel. That's hydraulic. We get about 20, 15, 20 pounds, probably about 15 pounds on there. That's all good. Again, this is the neutrifier. Here's the uh, spindle drive underneath this box. Like I said, that's downfeed, hydraulic, pick feed type mechanism with a flow control. And uh, we are currently running inside here 460 volts. There's the new Leoscala they put on here, and that's for the rotary table. That's a nice one. That's been changed out, so yeah, whoever had it was taking care of it. There's all transformers underneath here, 460 control, like I said. We have a book up here. It's got a schematic. Actually, it's a schematic book. We didn't, yeah, that's all we got right there. It's just a schematic for the cabinet. Some leveling pads down there, and that, that's really all of it. So getting back to the uh, operational aspects of this. Let me get down low. See what I'm doing here. Uh, we'll go right in with the chuck control. I'm just going to turn it on. I've got a little tool bit here. And just to go to variable, just, we, we need this on anyhow, I think, to run it. It does have an interlock. But I'm at 30% and, and uh, I'm not going to get it off at 30% either. So I'm going to release it, let it pulse. It's going to do the DMAG cycle, which is all good. That all works nice. It's a good, strong chuck. Should be about it right there. So we got it. Yep, that's good for that. I'm just going to leave it on resi residual, and I think that makes the control happy just for the sake of running the spindle. Before we do the table, let's do the wheel. Like I said before, uh, wheel start. We, we need power on, of course, hydraulics. And when I bring wheel start on, it actually brings up the AC tech, which you'll see it's kind of booting right now. It takes a few seconds, and that just stays on all the time. It's on stop right now, and it got a real nice soft start built into this, which is nice. So if I hit start now, it's going to come up and work its way up to 60 hertz. It takes a good 30 seconds maybe, but that's what you want to do with the big wheels. So it's going to come up. There's 30 hertz right there. Just hit 40. There it is, full out. So that's custom settable right there. They, they can do what they want with that, but it sounds pretty good. Comes up nice and it breaks real nice too. I'm gonna watch it for a few seconds. Alright, we'll stop it. I forget what the stopping time is. It's pretty good though. 10 seconds maybe, it's pretty good. Almost there. Yeah, a little bit over, not bad. And that, with that, I think that gives me the bird, gives me the manual feed. I don't know if I have, uh, I forgot where the manual comes in. If I put it on, you go full just to make sure. And I, I had this, but depending on where I'm at with zero, because we have table starts, you do rotary feed by the way, that I've got, and while I'm on that, that's down here. We do have a pot for a table, slow and fast. And this is the initial setting. 
And this thing does have a constant speed control built into it so that no matter where you set this at, it will bring it up a little bit. Wherever you set this at, as it traverses, it speeds up and slows down for the constant speed grinding. I don't know if you'll pick it up on the video, but you might be able to hear it slow down and speed up as we're traversing, but we've only got a little three inch pass to keep this thing moving, so you might not catch it. And this is the speed for longitudinal feed right here, which we haven't called for yet. So that's right here. I'm gonna call for a feed. It's gonna come all the way from the home position or the park position all the way up and start catching these dogs right here. These are movable anywhere along this plane. And so right now I can slow down the table. I can slow down the traverse speed. Come across real nice if I want. Okay or speed it up a little bit. So for our wants and needs, we'll leave it right about there maybe. And uh, the last thing I'll do is start a down feed. I'm gonna back the zero way up so we have time to watch it and show you this deal here. There's down feed. You've got automatic sizing stop when it hits zero or you can go continuous and just feed all day long. I'm gonna use the automatic cycle. I've got it set for, let's go with zero. Zero spark out, now we'll leave it on two. I've got it set for two spark outs. So that said, now we're feeding on every recip of the table. We'll feed once. If you come over here, you can kind of see it, Pete. My zero setting is way up here. And when this guy comes down here and hits the pointer, my spark out will start. And here's my control. I can slow that down quite a bit too, I think. See that? Yeah, that's a small little, little incremental and now we'll open that up a little bit and work our way towards zero. Now six or seven more passes, we'll be there. Then you can go back there and watch this thing spark out three times and park itself. That's all. And of course, this is the hand wheel, which works that. These both work in conjunction with each other. Standard hydraulic pick feed mechanism. Works pretty clean. There's our hydraulic pressure on there. So we're moving up on zero. Now kind of work your way back over this way a little bit. Let me get out of the way here. Yeah. Oh, you got everything, don't you? Okay. When this light shuts off, it'll start counting spark out passes. There it is, it just shut off. And I think it skips the first one so that you can always get one at least. I think it'll start counting after this. We can probably speed this up a little bit. Yeah. I, I don't know if you can hear the table speeding up and slowing down. And there's our spark out. Going home. That's that. And I don't feel just reset itself to zero. And I thought we I thought we had the power up to wrap it up. I don't know if I'm in a manual mode or not though so I'd have to check that out and see. I'm pretty sure we had it though so I know we have it. There it is. If I, shut, if I shut the drive off, yeah, it doesn't want me to crash the wheel. So if I shut the drive off, it gives me ramp it up and down. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? I should have known that. There's our ramp it up. See okay? Yeah. Going down a little bit. Yeah, it's all good. I said one manual oil here for the ways. Give it one pump. And uh, V-Mag, cut that off, and uh, as soon as that's done, we can shut it down here, so. Finish up, there it is. 